Hello everyone, welcome back to Trophy Life Experiences. You'll find that most of my experiences in the next little while will be in and around Vancouver, particularly restaurant reviews. Travel hasn't really opened up yet, so hopefully when I will be able to travel a little bit more in the new year. But for now, mostly restaurant reviews. This review is a Boulevard Kitchen and Oyster Bar. It is located inside the Sutton Place Hotel at 845 Burrard Street. They have parking underground for $10 for the whole night after 6 p.m. Um, that's kind of nice. They have lots of parking there and you can always visit Robson Street or downtown either before or after dinner. They have a pretty extensive menu, but what was really attractive to us was the $62 per person uh, price fix menu, three courses, and we decided to go with that. So this was my, um, this was one of our first choices. This was the Boulevard clam chowder with manila clams, potatoes, leeks, dill, fennel, and, and fennel pollen. Um, nice dish, good size, adequate, um, and uh, we enjoyed this. I will mention that they do allow you to bring in your own wine. I did bring in a bottle of Checkmate Little Pond, which I will be reviewing on my other channel, which is uh, Trophy Wine Hunter. And so their corkage is $50 per bottle. So if you're going to bring in a bottle, you bring in an expensive bottle. Don't bring in something that's inexpensive. I think they have a two bottle limit per table if you want to bring in wines. Uh, reasonable corkage, I think. So back to the menu. Um, the other choice we had for the price fix menu, the appetizer, was the albacore tornado. So celery, capers, radaccio, um, and some uh, Calabrian chili. Um, nice dish. I liked a little bit of salad and the albacore tuna was very nice. Nice sliced up, uh, fine dish, good condiments. Um, so I mean, both were good appetizers, good starts to the meal. I will mention that the hotel and the restaurant itself are hopping. They're really busy, uh, good and bad. It is busy and crowded, but it is a great vibe. The tables are well spaced and um, they are very careful about um, cleaning and hygiene. We noticed that um, they were cleaning tables and every time they clean a table with a cloth, they would kind of um, throw away that cloth or, or clean it again. They wouldn't reuse that cloth. So these little details matter. Our server was Larry. He was really good. Everyone was friendly. We did have to wait for our table and that was kind of a little bit off-putting because we had a reservation, but we had to wait about 10, 15 minutes. Don't see that much, but it is a busy restaurant. They're very polite about it. Great, it gave us a great table. Um, so that made up for everything. So uh, the start of the night wasn't good, but, but waiting, but after that, uh, everything was good. Now to the mains. So this was one of the mains, which is the Ling, Ling Cod Chiapino, mussels, manila clam tree, so roasted tomato and fennel. Mussels were good, clams were good, well cooked, um, not overcooked. Same thing, Ling Cod, delicious dish, paired very well with my checkmate Chardonnay. The other main we had was the grilled hanger steak with potatoes, house pickles, spinach marmalade, smoked sour cream, uh, and juice. Nice portions, steak was cooked well, condiments matched, um, really bite-sized. I like that they had, it's not uh, overwhelming uh, meal, it's not huge. Um, it's very light, uh, but at the same point, it's enough, substantial enough to be a, a good meal. So I like their portions, um, and I think it was very um, good in terms of the, the quality of the, the food. Boulevard is a restaurant that you might forget about because it's kind of a staple. It's seen as old school, but I really enjoyed the experience. I haven't been back for a long time. The ambiance is really good. Lighting was um, not as dark as La Terrazzo, so still um, dimmer lighting, but um, it had nice chandeliers, kind of uh, new wavy chandeliers. So um, it was a really good atmosphere. Um, everything was friendly, so it was really good. Now on to the desserts. The first one was a caramel apricot mousse, white chocolate crunch, apricot and caramel mousse. 
I like that the there was a good tanginess to the dessert. So again, well made dessert, good portion, but not too small and not too large either. The other dessert we had was chocolate terrine, seventy percent dark chocolate, raspberry and whipped cream. Very nice, uh, very chocolatey. Any chocolate lover would love this. I'll also kind of let you know that we did order coffee and tea and the tea bags were from a um, well-known um, tea company here in Vancouver high quality and these are little things that matter you know instead of using like Lipton I'm not saying anything bad about Lipton but you know they used a higher brand um, tea bag and so these are little things little extra touches that people notice and make the quality all in all, great experience. I'd go back again. This price fixed menu is, um, as you can see by the food, I think a great deal at $69 a person, sorry, $62 a person. Um, really good experience, really good vibe. So I really like this restaurant. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and give me your comments. Until next time, happy eating.